strange anomalies in mathematics, and in actual fact the government is in danger here of making sure that people such as mentioned by my right honourable friend are underrepresented in this House and not overrepresented. Long intervention. I, I simply cannot understand this argument that equal constituencies with a margin of plus or minus 5% represents an outrageous uh, in innovation which is anti-democratic. It is simply not the case. Now, let me, let, me, let, me go, let, me, let me make some progress because we've got very little time. More fundamentally, it's the duty of each MP to represent all of our constituents, no matter where they live in the constituency. And this is, I, I think, I, I recognise entirely the views of my honourable friends from, from Cornwall, from St Ives, and from, uh, from North Cornwall. But I simply don't accept that Cornwall will be any the less Cornwall if it is represented by a member who also represents part of Devon. And I believe that a member of Parliament doing their job can equally represent constituents on either side of the uh, Tamar. I, I, haven't got, I haven't got time now, I'm afraid. I want, to, I, want to also, I want to also make it plain that, the, that my right honourable friend for Spy and Lakaba, Roscoe and Lakaba, Made. The Honourable Member has said he will give way a little later. Let's be a little bit more patient. People want to hear what's being said, and I'm sure he can see behind him, Mr Bryant, he doesn't need any assistance. Shall the leader of that? I, I'm most grateful, uh, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. I'm trying to cover quite a lot of ground in a relatively short period of time uh, for, for colleagues. And I wanted, I wanted to address the issues raised by my honourable friend for Ross Sky and Lacoba and the uh, honourable gentleman, uh, my honourable friend for Caithness, Sutherland and Easter Ross. And I know